So various reports are coming out that there are maybe two effective vaccines that are going to be hitting the market, one from Pfizer, one from Moderna. But there is something you should know about these medicines. I don't even really want to call them vaccines, uh, and I'm going to explain why. So the reports are that they're about 95 percent effective. People are really excited about this. But take a look at this. This is from Time. They were reporting on this a couple of days ago that, you know, now Pfizer is going to be seeking FDA authorization for COVID-19 vaccine within days. So they've been going through their various clinical trials, and these two groups are saying, these two companies are saying, yes, you know, we've got it. It's 95 percent. Let's go for it. Pfizer, it says right here, Pfizer and BioNTech expect to ask for emergency permission within a matter of days to start distributing their COVID-19 vaccine. The company said Wednesday as they released a trove of new data showing the vaccine is about 95 percent effective. But here it is, guys. It's worth noting that the vaccine was tested for its effectiveness in protecting against symptoms of COVID-19 and not protecting against infection with the coronavirus. What? Yeah, that's the big, um, that is the kicker right there that, you know, a lot of these news outlets, they're not reporting on that. They're just saying to you, oh, yes, you know, a vaccine, 95% effective. And that leads you to believe that if you were to get this shot, that you would be protected from getting the virus at all, and that's actually not what this medicine does. Here, this is also from WebMD. This was actually back at the end of October, so October 28th. It says here, early vaccines will prevent symptoms, not the virus. So they reported on what Dr. Anthony Fauci said when he was at a summit. This was an uh, Yahoo Finance All Market Summit. And he said, quote, the primary thing you want to do is that if people get infected, prevent them from getting sick. And if you prevent them from getting sick, you will ultimately prevent them from getting seriously ill. Preventing symptoms is a primary endpoint in the vaccine development process, Fauci said. Getting rid of the virus altogether is considered a secondary endpoint. So it's important to note, though, you know, all hope isn't lost. Look, I'm, I'm all about, like, let's just get on with our lives. And if this helps people calm down, then it's ultimately a good thing. Um, and I do think that it could potentially be a good thing. Now, I'm very skeptical of taking medicine that hasn't been thoroughly tested. I think it should be. But I will say that this is not your traditional uh, vaccine. So th that's an important thing to know is that they are still trying and they're working on an actual vaccine that prevents you from getting COVID. But that is not what these shots are. That's not what these medicines are. They're almost, I mean, I don't know why they're calling them vaccines because it's kind of misleading if you can still end up with the virus um, and spread it to other people that maybe didn't get this medicine and could have severe symptoms. I'm not sure why they're calling it that and why don't they call it something like, you know, like a preventative therapeutic or something.